my college freshman, and I've been waiting for my waiver disability services for almost 17 years. I was born in Florida, and I love my state, but I don't love how y'all treat Floridians with disabilities. Florida is 49 for funding the disability program, and we've got the most people waiting for services. At the last delegation meeting, I asked you to fund the waiver program so I can get disability services. Senator Broder, back then, you said fully funding the waiver makes a ton of sense, so I was pretty excited to see what y'all had planned. Turns out, nothing much. There was no increased funding, which means I'm still on the waiting list. But this year, if I'd have been able to drive a car and use the toll road 35 times, I'd have hit the Tallahassee jackpot because you gave those drivers half a billion dollars. That's billion with a B. And that money could have totally cleared the waiting list. So today I'm not only here representing myself, I'm here also for the other 22,434 disabled Floridians on the waiting list. Because there's something wrong with your priorities in Tallahassee when you've forgotten about people like me. But you're giving half a billion dollars away to toll road drivers who didn't even ask for your help. I am asking you, begging you, to fund the waiver so I can get off the waiting list and start living my life. Thank you for listening. Senator Burger, you recognize. Thank you, and thank you, JJ and Allison. I would tell you that uh, my uh, priorities from last year haven't changed. Unfortunately, I have 159 other colleagues with their own opinions about how to do things. So I, like you, wish I could wave a magic wand and do whatever I wanted. And second is I would tell you to stay tuned. It's not over. <laughs> Thank you, and I just want to say JJ is always an inspiration. Thank you for being here. I know we have been able to help you with some of the constituent concerns, and we will continue to help you and work with you. Thank you. Okay. You're recognized as well. Thank you. <clears throat> 16 years, eight months, 25 days. That's how long my son JJ has been on the wait list for disability services through the iBudget or MedWaiver program. When your child has a disability, the world is already much harder to navigate for them and for their caregiver. Being responsible for another human being and one who's dependent on you for everything is exhausting, it's stressful, it's isolating, and it takes its toll. I'm physically, emotionally, mentally, and financially wiped out. However, the hard truth is that as long as these severely disabled Floridians have an adult in the home who has a pulse, you won't provide any disability support services unless a so-called crisis strikes. And because you've chosen to lavish money on toll road drivers instead of prioritizing severely disabled kids, that means in Florida, only a cataclysmic crisis will get you on the waiver. Logan from Collier County didn't get the waiver until he fell out of a second story window and was critically and permanently injured. Jaden from Putnam County, who is unintentionally a serious danger to himself and to others, was denied crisis enrollment as his mother has no police reports. Jaden's 14. The family has countless professionals confirming the clear and present danger he is in, but Jaden needs to be arrested before you'll let him onto the waiver program. These kids really have to hit rock bottom and then some before you'll act. Everything is already hard enough for our children. You know, JJ may have to leave college because his aid hasn't been paid. August 21st she started and she hasn't received a dime. That wouldn't have happened if he'd had the waiver. Leaving JJ and over 22,000 other severely disabled Floridians languishing on a wait list until a catastrophic crisis hits is cruel beyond measure. 
and now you're planning to switch everyone on the waiver over to a for-profit managed care program. <coughs> JJ's on a managed care plan through CMS. That's why we're so utterly desperate for the waiver. All he gets is a 30-second phone call once a month, and generally when we need something, they always have an excuse for not providing it. One time his care manager actually emailed me to suggest I go around churches to ask if they have miscellaneous funds for disability services. Whatever you think is being done for these kids on managed health care plans is not. This session, the waiver got a similar amount of money as you allocated to horse racing in the state. This vulnerable group of Floridians is viewed as having comparable needs to horse racing and is viewed as less deserving than toll road users. We're asking you to fully fund the waiver. We're asking you to give APD a seat could bring it in for landing to negotiate a budget based on need and we're asking you not to let a managed care company take over the waiver and use my son and other vulnerable Floridians like in here to make a profit off of. And I'd like to hand this over to look at these people okay. on the waiver and on the wait list who don't want managed care. Okay, thank you.